guys, I'm actually going to be showing you a MAC haul today. I actually went to MAC around a week or two ago, but I've been saving the bag just to kind of show you guys what I invested in. I basically just got um, eyeshadows, one blush, and two palettes. Um, the reason that I bought two palettes is to kind of um, depot all of the eyeshadows that I do have and the blushes that I do have. So to start off with, um, these are the palettes that I got. One is in the case and this is one is inside the case, inside the box. Um, it's called the Pro Palette Large Single Palette. Um, and this is how the box looks like. I already opened one just so I can show it to you guys. It looks like this. And it's actually the new version of the Pro Palette um, that they sell at MAC. So when you open it up, it looks like this. It's pretty clear, so it's really nice to kind of see what eyeshadows you're going to be um, using whenever you are using them. The, the palette before used to actually be all black, kind of like the BH Cosmetics look. Um, so that's basically how it looks like. And the inside, just to let you guys know, is Magnet. So I got two of these, the other one's inside. And the next product that I got is actually a blush. And it's a blush that I actually had been wanting to um, try out for a while just because everyone on YouTube was raving about it. And it is the Blunt blush. So just to give you guys a swatch, this is how dark it is. And it looks like this. So just kind of to show you guys um, how it works inside the palette. It's just basically by the one without the um, container. And then it just literally sticks on. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm actually going to be depotting a lot of the stuff that I do have from MAC. And then the next product that I got is um, an eyeshadow. And it is Cork. A lot of people actually have been raving about it. Um, and supposedly a lot of people use it for their eyebrows. So I'm going to actually be trying that. Um, and this is how it looks like. So just to give you guys a swatch. Next to the blunt blush. This is how it looks like right there. And it looks like this. So I'm going to be pasting that right here. So this is actually pretty convenient. I, I really like it already. And then the next eyeshadow that I got was... Um, that in taupe. Let me take it out of its container. And it looks like this. I basically bought a lot of browns, very neutral colors, because that's normally what I use on a daily basis, except today I'm wearing some golds on my eyes. But just to give you guys a swatch of how it looks like, it's actually right there. It's really pretty. It has a little bit more of a shimmer on it. And then I'm going to put it on my palette. And then the next one that I got was um, Concrete. And this is just to basically refill the other one that I, am, that I ran out of or that I'm running out of. And that's the one that I normally use on my eyebrows. So I'm just basically um, filling up on the eyebrow one that I normally use. And I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me talk about this one. But this is how it looks like. Let me just swatch it for you guys. That's normally the color that I use to line up my eyebrow. And it looks like this. So I'm just going to put it on the magnet. And as you can see, it just sticks on. The last eyeshadow that I got was um, Shroom. And um, I also heard a lot of good things about this eyeshadow from a lot of people on YouTube. And just like friends and colleagues that I do um, work with. Um, it's basically like a white tone with a little bit of shimmer. Let me see if it has a little bit of shimmer. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, it has a slight shimmer to it. And this would be um, really nice actually for um, below the eyebrow. So on the brow bone to kind of highlight. Let me show you guys how it looks like. It's very, it's right there. So that's how it looks like. And this is how it looks like in the pan. So I'm just going to be sticking that right here. And then um, the last, last, last blush, no, not blush, I'm sorry, the last um, eyeshadow that I got was actually Texture. And I heard this one's super, super pretty, especially for the, 
for the bone right here on your eye. Um, I heard it's very pretty. It's like an orangey. So all of these colors are very suited for my eyes, as you guys can see. But this is how it looks like right here. This is texture. And just to give you guys a swatch of how it looks like, that's how it looks like on skin, I guess you could say. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stick it on here. Another thing I also got was the um, MAC Prep and Prime. So it's a translucent powder. This is the one that I got. It's basically white. It's just to kind of um, put a powder on top of, say, any foundation. So I kind of needed this for like my clients when I don't have the color of their powder or they just don't have one. This is what I would normally put on top of them. I actually haven't used it myself, but I've heard really good things about it. This is the packaging. It's actually really cute. It has little sparkles on it. And this is how it looks like. So basically what you do is you kind of go like this. And I only have... Um, foundation on top of me so you kind of just lightly dust it on yourself and it's supposed to kind of blend in with whatever you're wearing it's just to kind of set it that's what translucent powders are normally for so that's that's what I got and it looks like this so basically that's all I got from there um, one last thing I wanted to show you guys is something that I got really excited of um, that I got really excited when I found it because um, it's very convenient for me since I do um, freelance hair and um, makeup and I also thread um, on the side from school so I'm going to show you guys what I got I'm actually really excited to show you guys this is what I got I don't know if you guys can see it it's a chair it's not really heavy which is really cool um, and if you sit on it or you sit any clients on it, it actually goes down low. It goes down and up. So basically, your client sits here and you can adjust however you want to. So that is really, really cool. Because I normally, when I do freelance, I, I have a lot of trouble. Um, let me actually fix this. That's actually really, really cool for me just because I can get it and go whenever um, I have a call or someone that's going to need me to freelance either makeup, hair, or when someone just comes to my apartment to get their eyebrows thread threaded. But um, that's really, really cool and really convenient. Um, I can just literally throw it in the car or even walk with it if I want to. And um, I bought it at Marshall's and I'm just really excited to use it on someone. So someone needs to hire me ASAP. <laughs> But that's basically all of the stuff that I've got um, recently. I do need to fill up on some other products just because I am running out. If I do have any other hauls that I'm going to do, I'll let you guys know right away. And um, that's basically it. If you guys um, have any ideas for me for any videos, please let me know. So glad to actually do them for you guys. Um, I actually just need some time since it is midterms week. I might be a little bit busy. So I wanted to show you guys the makeup that I have today. I'm going to actually go to lunch with my friend today. So I'm gonna show it to you guys just so you guys can see it. So I actually used some gold tones today on my eye. And just to let you guys know, I did use um, amber lights on my eye. And um, some blush that I always use, peaches. I used it just for around the bone area. So, I think it's really cute. But um, that's basically it, guys. Um, definitely subscribe and comment below if you have any questions on anything. Um, like the like the video if you, if you actually liked watching me. But um, that's basically it. Um, until next time, thank you guys for watching.